Hello everyone, it's Joe Grotesque, and I'm back with yet another video. I hope you're doing well, I hope you're staying safe. Today I wanted to talk about something that I've talked about many times before, and that's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. More specifically, I wanted to talk about the favorite things in my collection. And I wanted to share the stuff in my collection that would just be too difficult for me to ever part with. Stuff that has sentimental value or just is just way too cool. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here we go. So these are two very special items to me. This is TMNT Volume 2 Number 1, which is a reprint, but it's signed by Peter Laird. And the other book is a reprint of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one signed by Peter Laird, both of which I won through the Mirage Studios art contest. And I actually got to meet Peter Laird back in 2008. So these are like the closest thing I have to trophies in regards to the TMNT. And they're very special. This is a storage shell Donatello. And what makes this so interesting is that it comes from Kevin Eastman's personal collection and the shell is signed by Kevin Eastman himself. I got this via the Kevin Eastman fan club, so I really treasure this. Up next, we have the Mutant Raphael from This Island Earth. This was from the Universal Monsters line of turtles, and he is probably my favorite turtles figure ever. I don't know why, something about the mix of sci-fi, horror, and TMNT just really works for me. This is my favorite Shredder figure of all time because it's very reminiscent of the anime Saint Seiya and his armor turns into a silver tiger and then it can also be placed onto him as armor obviously I don't know what it is about this line but I really really dig it I've been trying to find the uh, Raphael down here forever I've just not found him in good shape or in good shape for a good price. Up next we have some of my test shot prototypes from various lines of Turtles toys. Uh, I guess I will show you the Splinter first because he's the most obscure. Uh, he has the snarl going on that was not used on the actual figure. This is from the 2007 TMNT toy line. This is from the 2003 Turtles. This is Leonardo and he doesn't have his mask sculpted yet, so he looks kind of weird. There's no coloration on his belt. And then last but not least is this cool little Funko Hikari Ninja Turtle, which could be any turtle because he's unpainted. Now this is very special to me because this is the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy I ever owned ever and I've kept him for well over 30 years. It's the squishy head Michelangelo. I don't know how I've been able to keep him in such good shape, even though he does have a little scuffing on the mask. Now these are two items both signed by Kevin Eastman. The one on the left is a coloring book, which isn't really easy to come across to begin with, but I got this when I met Kevin Eastman in person several years ago, and the book on the right is a reprint of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. Of course, these are the quintessential collectibles of any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection, the first four issues of the original Mirage comics. I feel very blessed to have these. This is an original piece of Kevin Eastman artwork. I got this about a year ago through the Kevin Eastman fan club, and this is the original artwork for one of the Munchkin playing cards. There's the actual card right there. This 
is an autographed photo of Judith Hogue, who played April in the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 film. I got to meet her in 2019. She was very cool and signed this for me, and we took a photo together. This is an original art page by Jim Lawson and Eric Talbot from Raphael Bad Moon Rising number one. And what's really cool about this, in this particular scene, uh, Raphael and his lady friend here are watching The Exorcist. And Raphael is pretty disturbed by it. This is just a cover proof of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 7, signed by Kevin Eastman. Here's the back of it. That's a pretty wacky version of the turtles on the back there. Last but not least, we have this box from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cereal. And boy, it wasn't a great cereal, but at the same rate, there wasn't anything else to take its place. Thank you all so very much for watching, and a very special thank you to all of you subscribers out there. You guys and gals that really took some initiative and subscribed to the channel and have been subscribed for quite some time, I can't thank you enough. If you'd like to help out the channel, I'll never ask you for money. Just maybe like this video or go hit the like button on a video you actually like. And you can also subscribe if you feel so inclined. So, until next time, stay safe, take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Buh bye bye